Good morning, dear students. <coughs> the previous class we have discussed about the poem Bangal of the Tempest. Here in that poem we learnt some words will fill the encourage and enthusiasm in the mindset of the people and they can escape from any, any kind of peril or any kind of danger. Yes, we learnt in the previous poem. Hey, all the sailors and the seamen, they got a spirit, they got a hope. By the words of the little maiden, maid, she was the daughter of the captain of the ship. They were inspired by her call. Uh, that means they, they were inspired by her words and also safely they were reached the harbor in the morning. That means they came out from the danger, they came out from the peril, they came out from the difficulties. Only all the seamen they thought they would lose their life in the danger, even when the captain told me we are lost. When the captain shouted, we are lost, all all seamen, all sailors believed that they would lose their life. In that meantime, a golden verse came out from the mouth of the little maiden. She was the daughter of the captain. She told, Isn't God upon the ocean as just like as on the just as like on the earth? Everybody is inspired by her words. Yes. How the God is on the earth? How the God will save, uh, will rescue the human beings on the heart. In the same way, the God will rescue us. The sea was ocean God and the sea God will rescue us on the ocean. They believed that ultimately they reached the harbor. They reached the seashore. They became safe. So, that means we need some inspirations to live long. We are living, we are living a life. What do we want to our life? That is very important. We are living our life by having a lot of desires and our same wants. We can't live our life without wants and without desires. Those desires and wants are the inspiration of our life. What the desires what the wants, what the dreams, what the ambition we have. Dreams, wants, wishes, desires, ambitions. What we have, these are the These are the inspirations to our life. If we don't have any dreams, if we don't have any wishes, if we don't have any will, if we don't have any ambitions, our life will become waste. There will be no use for our life. There will be no, there will be no use in our life. If you want to do something in our life, we should have this. We should have. We should have a dream, we should have wants. We should fulfill them. We have to fight to fulfill them. We have to work hard to fulfill them. When that attitude will develop in your mind, we have to work hard to fulfill our wants and our dreams. We have to make our dreams come true. You have to struggle. You have to work hard. So that is called as when you have that type of attitude, I have to work hard to make my dreams true. That is called as inspiration. When you think you are that I have to do something to fulfill my wishes, I have to do something to fulfill my wants. I have to achieve something to fulfill my ambition. What the thought you have to achieve something that is the inspiration. The ambition is the inspiration. The dream is the inspiration. 
dangers. So ultimately they reached safely to the harbour when the morning sun was shining. Okay. So now we are living a life we need inspiration. So we need inspiration. Without inspiration we can't live our life. Okay. So let us know in today's class. So before entering into the lesson, I would like to introduce an activity. So shall we go through an activity? Yes. You have come to the page number 141. Yeah. There is a dialogue given. The dialogue happened between the Lakshmi and Gobi. The dialogue. The dialogue. The dialogue happened between the Lakshmi and then Gauri. Okay. So I will go through the dialogue and go through the conversation happened between the Gauri and also the Lakshmi. So just observe me, just follow me. Lakshmi asked to Gauri. Gauri, why did you come to school yesterday? Gauri, Lakshmi asked to Gauri because Gauri was absent to the school yesterday. Gauri was absent to the school yesterday. So now Lakshmi is asking to the Gauri, Gauri, why didn't you come to school yesterday? Why you were absent? Why didn't you come to school yesterday? Why you were absent yesterday? Directly. Why you were absent yesterday? Go. I had to attend to my brother Gopal. Yes, I was. I was not. I was not attending school yesterday because I had to attend. I had to attend. I must attend to my brother Gopal, who is hospital. My brother. My brother is there. His name. His name is Gopal. He is hospitalized. He is taking treatment in a hospital. We. I have to attend to see. I have. I have to attend to see Gopal, who is hospitalized. Who is taking treatment in the hospital? I went to meet him. I went to meet him. Who? Who told? Gauri told. Really? Really? Uh, did Gopal have been hospitalized? What happened to him? What's wrong with him? What happened to the Gopal? Why is why he is having a hospital? Does he suffer from any, any dangerous illness? Why why he was admitted to the hospital? Why he was admitted to the hospital? What happened to him? Again the Lakshmi asked Gauri, what happened to the what happened to the Gopal? Why he was not why he was not well, what happened to him? Gauri said, he met with an accident. He met with an accident uh, last Saturday. He was injured. He met with an accident last Saturday and he was completely injured. That's why I went to meet him to uh, what we call it as to, um, to know about his condition. Gauri. Sorry, Lakshmi. Oh my God! How did it happen? How happened it? How did it happen? Is he seriously injured? Yes, the Lakshmi is asking, really? Does uh, uh, Gopal, does Gopal met with an accident? Oh my God! What a wrong did happen? Yes, how, how did it happen? Where did it happen? Yes, we will make an inquiry. If your friend met with an accident, we will ask everything. We will make an inquiry. Where it happened? How happened? And which vehicle hit him? We will ask so many questions. Just only to a formal inquiry or the formal, uh, what we call it as caring. Formal caring. Just only to show our care by asking such type of questions. Here she was asking, Oh my God, how did it happen? Where did it happen? Is he seriously injured? Really? Really? Is he seriously injured? Your Lakshmi asked the Gauri. Gauri, he was walking along a narrow bridge without any riding. Riding means these are the we, we call them as a riding means what we call them as we have seen the steel riding in a bus. Okay. 
they are given the inside the bus there will be steel riding so uh, just only we hold the steel riding to uh, to make our body to stand in the balance the state otherwise when the bus will move our body will go forward and backward and we will fall in the bus just to need to stand firmly in the bus we will hold the steel riding okay is if just imagine yourself if there is no steel riding in the bus what will happen definitely we will fall down we will fall down yet was just only for the balance just only for the gripping just only for the gripping we we will hold the riding steel riding and as in the there is a woman in the class you can just know she said she said the woman that they just said to her time to hold the steel riding but but there was no use but her hands were in the air she couldn't reach the steel riding okay so like that he was walking along in the other way he was walking in the other way was walking along a narrow bridge without any support without any means without any support he was walking on a narrow bridge so when he was walking on a narrow bridge immediately he just slipped immediately he just slipped and fell into the river when he was walking along when he was walking along the narrow bridge without any support without any riding we need we need steel riding or any iron riding whatever it be we need them just for the for the support to make to keep our body in the balance balance state so that is not easy to walk on a narrow bridge he was walking on a narrow bridge without any riding or without any support so immediately he just slipped down fell into the river and he is here with a rock when he was crossing a narrow bridge without any support immediately he just slipped down fell into the river and he is here with to the rock he is here with a rock he has a multiple fractures in his body he had a multiple a number of fractures in his body but we are we are lucky that he is out of danger we are lucky that that means he got a that means uh, he had a lot of fractures in his body and he badly injured he said this badly he injured okay but unfortunately fortunately he is alive he is out of danger he is alive and he is out of danger but we are lucky that he is out of danger that's it that's good oh yeah that's that's good so he will be fit soon to attend school i hope i hope he will be he will be fit soon he will be recovered soon he will be recovered soon and again he are at the school he will be recovered soon and again he will be he will attend the school again i hope he will be recovered soon again he she wished her she wished him hand hand she showed the positive attitude towards the gopal yes it's not wrong you told he is out of danger no problem he needs some rest he needs some treatment and because his body is multiple fractures so he needs some treatment after better treatment after proper treatment after proper uh what we call it as rest after proper rest he, he would be recover and then he would attend the school he would attend the school again yes we will like that yes, if you have any if you are if your hand is broken if your leg is broken i think you need a rest you will take a bed rest for a month or a two months and around with the bed rest you will take a treatment with the god you will take a treatment with the doctors After the recovery, again, you don't remain in your bedroom forever. You don't remain in your house forever. After recovery, again, you will go for 
only for work. Again, he will go for the school. Like that, Gopal will also, after the recovery, he will come to the school. So, normally she thought about it. And she said her opinion. But Gauri said, no. No, Lakshmi, he has lost his sense of hearing. Just imagine yourself, dear students, if you lose your sense of hearing, what will happen? Just you imagine yourself. Just you hack one day. Just you close your ears one day with a cotton. How the people will react to you? They will ask you. Once you are, once you are, can you tell me, can you repeat me, can you repeat me, how many times 
We cannot, we cannot come to the point. We cannot come to the point in the in the beginning. Sometimes we will make such type of statement like that. So he was a good, he was a good when he was a child, but now he is worst. He was helped by everyone in our family when he was a child. Everybody is getting because. He is coming to go by drinking daily. He is coming to go by drinking daily to house. Everybody ate it him. Okay, so that's why we cannot decide the future of any persons in the beginning. Okay, so like that, your physical disabled persons are not useless. Because how we have the dreams, how we have the explanations in our mind, they they will have the explanations themselves in their mind. How we try hard, how we try hard. Maybe uh, I have noticed that type of people who did who achieved in their life. Yes, uh, those who lost their lost their hands, they learn to write in their legs. They learn to. Drink a water and coffee in your legs. I have noticed with them. Those who lost their legs, what are the works done by the legs? They will do those works in hands. Those who, who lose their hands, they they will do they will do the all the works done by the hands through the legs. Those who lost their hands. Yeah. God will use something from them, but He will give extra to them. According to me, those who are those who are considered as a physical disabled, God will God will lose something from them, but add something to them. They are special. They are very special in some attitude, in some skills, in some attitudes and in some skills. That's why God will do something. God will do something, but will add extra something to them. They are very powerful. They are always think positive. They are very independent. Okay? They don't want to. They don't want to live their life dependent on others. They don't want to live as a dependent. Just we have to notice them. They wanted to live their life independently. Almost all the disabled persons don't want to have mercy, sympathy, kindness from the others. Just only they want the helping hand from them. They can't see. That's why they need a helping hand. They need a helping hand. But they are they are very strong. They are very firm in mind. Those are all the extra qualities given by the God to the persons who are living their life as a physical disabled. No one will remain as a burden to others. That means nobody will become independent on others. Everybody wants to become independent. Everybody wants to have something. Everybody wants to fulfill their dreams and wishes their best only. They don't want it. They don't. Vicious. That is the inspiration. They have those physical disabled persons also have the inspirations in their life. How how the common we have like that? All the physical disabled persons also have the inspirations in their life in the form of dreams, wants, wishes, desires, and also the ambitions. How we try to fulfill them? They will also try to fulfill their inspirations. Their ways and our ways are different. Their ways and our ways are different. But both we will try to fulfill our dreams and desires. Okay. So that's why I don't believe. I don't trust. I don't think. I don't think like Gobi that the physical disabled are both or will be useless and remain a burden for us. He will not be. He will not be useless. He will be useful. He will be useful in future. And he never become independent. He will become independent. He never remain as a burden 
public suicide. Those who want to live their life independent, they never go to such type of silly act. They will hurt their food themselves. They will hurt their shelter themselves. They live their life themselves. They will become. They will become independent. They live. They live their life as a independent. They don't depend on others. Okay. So that's why her statement is, according to me, her statement is wrong. According to me, her statement is wrong. Nobody wants to be dependent. Everybody wants to. Everybody. Everybody wants to become a independent. Okay. So I will stop on this point. Then, dear students, let us in this in this class let us discuss. Colors of Silence. This lesson is taken from the National Book Trust of India. This lesson is taken from National Book Trust of India from 10th standard second language English. Here, Colors of Silence. Why we have given a title as Colors of Silence? What do you mean by Colors of Silence? There are so many colors. Can you list them? Can you list the different types of colors? Can you list out the different types of colors? Can you list out the different types of colors? Yes. Red is there. Red, blue, 